Hey folks, welcome to Build Fly Go. We haven't done a flight video in quite a while, and I'll be honest, I haven't flown a ton this winter. It's been cold and snowy, and the weather's been sort of overcast and icky a lot. And uh, we've been working on the RV-10, right? Like, it's, it's, it's one of those things where there's only so much time in the day, and uh, we've, been, we've been trying to get the avionics finished. We're almost there, <laughs> and that has eaten into our flying time. I'm actually okay with it eating into flying time in the winter because um, though the performance is fantastic, it's not the best weather. It's cold and dreary and whatnot. But we had a beautiful day. Um, I believe this was a Saturday. It was just beautiful out. It was, the winds were calm. It was warm. I'm only wearing, I'm wearing a hoodie that you can see there and in jeans, and that's all I needed to be out. And it was, uh, especially in the airplane, I didn't even have the seat heats on because the that canopy uh, has its pluses and minuses, and definitely a plus in the winter is it, it warms up the airplane a good bit. Um, a minus in the summer is it warms up the airplane a good bit. <laughs> um, it's not that big of a deal because we have uh, lots of vents um, into the airplane, uh, so there's a lot of air circulating in there um, in the summer, and I do have those closed and sealed off in the in the winter. But what we're doing today is I decided to go down to the Milwaukee shoreline. The plan was going to go to the shoreline, which is what we just arrived. We're just north of Milwaukee, go south to about Racine, and then cut back to Madison. By the time we got to Racine, uh, the Racine area, you know, you're looking at the, the, the chart ahead of you, and it's like, wow, Chicago is right there. <laughs> Why don't we just keep going down the shoreline? So that's what we did. So I just told uh, Milwaukee Approach that, um, you know, we're just going to keep going south. Um, I understand that they often can't give you a handoff to Chicago Approach because Chicago is really busy. Um, so they... Uh, they just told us to, to Scark VFR and continue south and, uh, you know, do what we need to do. Um, as I approached uh, the Chicago Bravo, I did call uh, Chicago Approach and ask them for VFR flight following under the Bravo uh, along the shoreline. Oh, look, you can see the skyline um, coming out of the clouds there, out of the mist on the, on the right. Um, I talked to Chicago Approach, and they said they couldn't. They were unable. They were too busy. Which is totally cool, right? So you just, on the shoreline, you just watch the airspace and fly under the shelf. There's plenty of altitude there flying under the shelf. This is really pretty. Um, and just stay outside the Bravo and you're fine. And I kept going south um, to about Midway. Uh, we went just south of Midway, at which point uh, I called the Midway approach frequencies, which turns out, there's nobody listening. I need to take a peek at that chart and see what I missed on the on the frequencies or on the notes there, um, because the midway frequencies there's nobody. So I ended up calling um, the Chicago approach frequency on the south side, and I just told them I'm you know like I'm just south of midway. I just wanted to sort of nick the the bottom of the midway airspace, just to cut sort of cut across to Madison. And uh, instead, they said, you know, 69 Victor, you're clear to the Bravo climb and maintain, I think it was 4,000 or whatever it was, right? Just just into the Bravo, and it's like, oh, cool, okay. Uh, that's pretty rare <laughs> to get this into the Chicago Bravo. And uh, they just kept me into the Bravo. We, we did a huge cut uh, through, the, through the Bravo and uh, decided instead of heading back to Madison... Um, Monroe is right there, and Monroe right now has cheap fuel. Um, it's like a buck cheaper than anywhere else nearby. So I figured, you know, we got ourselves an hour and a half, two hours of flying today. Let's top it off. <laughs> We're right here. So here we are. Monroe, um, very... It wasn't too busy. There were like three or four airplanes there. An airplane came and arrived behind us as we were fueling up. Uh, so you'll see that we pulled the plane ahead. Um, these two gentlemen came by, uh, they just wanted to look at the airplane. Um, looks like one of them wasn't a pilot, the other one was a pilot, they were uh, traveling together. And uh, they just came by to chat. Um, they knew uh, someone who I had helped with an airplane um, a few months back, 
and uh, it was sort of fun to, to reminisce a little bit. But then off we go back to Madison. It's a, it's a super, super short flight to Madison from here. I want to say it's in the RV, it's 15 minutes uh, ish, 20 minutes, maybe 50. Yeah, it's probably like 15 minutes. Super short, super quick flight. And there's Madison. You can see the lakes on the right. And uh, as usual, Madison, super simple. Oh, there's Maury, uh, Maury Airport. We just passed it. Rewind a little bit, and you'll see we passed just over Maury Airport. And I believe we're landing on 18 here. Uh, it's either 14 or 18. Let's see uh, up ahead in just a, in just a second. It's 14 because I remember I taxied all the way down. Yeah. Um, and usual, you know, as usual, uh, Madison ATC is super, super friendly. Um, they know us, so they know where, where we're going. So, you know, as soon as I landed on 1-4, uh, they're like, just taxi all the way down to Echo and make it right onto the south ramp. <laughs> Save us some time. But yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, we hope to get a lot more flying coming up soon as the weather warms up and avionics are almost done. See you soon.